Folks, welcome back to NASCAR Heat 5. Today, we've got to buckle up in your truck 225 at Kentucky Speedway. Um, we're going to go ahead and get our truck set up. So I accidentally hit auto and it actually screwed it up. So that's great. Well, you know, we'll have a super slow truck for this race. Nothing like handicapping myself when I've already handicapped myself with all the hate that I have on this team. Well, one good thing is that we have a new paint scheme. I was watching football yesterday, realized I wasn't going to be able to race because I had to focus on the game. Duh. And so I learned how to make my own templates and we have a new paint scheme. Well, we have a slow truck and that's just where we stand. So we couldn't get the uh, proper time we were looking for. And because of that, well, we're just going to qualify and there's the new paint scheme. Pretty cool. Anyway, let me get out there and do the qualifying. All right, here we go for our qualifying lap. All right, now, just like practice, qualifying counts. Here we go. Yes, it does count. Here we go, indeed. Messing up turn number one. Obviously, we didn't mess up turn number two. Maybe that faster drive off will help us. We'll see. Pretty sure we're qualifying last in this, though, with the truck that we ended up having. Good news is our super speedway truck is going to be completely loaded and ready to go. Let's bring it right down to the apron right away. Yeah, bad. Right, that's it. Terrible lap. 30th place out of 32, so at least we're not in last place somehow. Take a look at your top five. Angela Rutsch, Johnny Sauter. Stuart Friesen, Austin Hill, John Hunter Nemechek. Getting into our custom drivers, Casey Kane, 16th, Bradshaw Stout, 18th, Gary Norton, 19th, Jeremiah Graham, 20th, Max Cost, 21st, John Perez, 22nd, Lance Dovrick, 23rd, Taylor Carpenter, 24th, David Shieldhouse, 25th, Bryce Egan, 26th, Eliza Bethel, 27th, Matt Kenseth, 28th, Speedy Jones, 29th. We're in 30th. Parker Smith, 31st. Michael Chavez, 32nd. Got 150 laps here at Kentucky. So let's get out there and see where we can end up in this race. Couple notables for the race. Angela Rutsch having a stellar weekend. Matt Crafton crashed during qualifying. Expect him to move up through the pack quickly. And Jennifer Joe Cobb. Trying to get away with some illegal stuff, and she gets sent to the back of the pack. All right, now, be smart out there. Going green. Be ready. Green, green, green. Inside. All right. How long before we get hit? So far, cordial with uh, Speedy Jones on our inside. Inside, inside. Parker Smith just behind us. This will actually catch a nice draft, which is going to help pull us through the corner. Here we are, kind of figuring out what everybody does. I didn't really race. You don't really race around a lot of, like, a pack like this when you're in practice at all. Trying to figure out what lane I want to try in. Hold your line, stay high. Here we go. Ooh. Whoa. Okay, so that was my bad. We got Parker Smith on our inside. Somehow he did not run into us. Oh, now he is. Okay, there he is. Careful, still there. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you. You can appreciate me too as I help get you back up to this group. But also use you to get up to that group. So kind of a equal thing here the lines on this track are weird I was going to say that I messed that up it's going to take me a little bit to kind of get into the groove here also again our truck is much slower than normal just dumb that the auto just screwed it up like it did but I thought I hit cancel and instead I hit accept because I'm an idiot I've explained before how the buttons on the steering wheel obviously don't match up to anything. They have no letters on them or anything. I just kind of have to remember. And I haven't raced in a few days, so I didn't remember.
We got uh, Matt Kenseth and Bradshaw Stout running the outside lane up there. That's interesting. I need to figure out some, some pace in this race. Even though we don't have a great truck, we should still be able to do well around the turns. There we go. Get some pace right now. <laughs> that was a better lap. Basically, uh, you're still sucking really bad, but that was better than the horrible sucking you've been doing. All right. Well, you know, that's all right. Our goal is 20th position. Apparently now we have four races to get two of them because that's where our truck should be at this stage in the season. But we're really not there. So not great. We're really good at three and four. We need to figure out one and two. get a couple spots but I don't think we're definitely going to be vying for 20th place in this race and unfortunately there's nothing I can do about it when the mistake was made I actually exited the career hoping it didn't save it and it did well they get such a better I'm going to have to drive it harder in I guess one and two three and four we do just fine we actually gain on them a fair amount but then one and two, we definitely messing up here. Here we look. 35 laps in the stage one. Let's see if we can drive this in a little deeper this time and not lose them. Oh, yeah, that worked. That worked a bit better. Now we might be in a draft at some point. Maybe. Maybe. No, okay. Okay. No draft. What about now? No draft here, but we certainly got the speed to get around. Eliza, I'm up on Parker Smith. I'll run him. Of course, we're still not great at one and two, so I'm not sure what to do with it, but... Hey, look at that. Great job, Parker. Great job. Bethel with a good run. And we lose all the progress we had made. Woo! All right. We're so much better in three and four. It's crazy. I really just need to figure out what I'm doing with one and two. Careful, still there. I, I must have to just drive it in harder. I don't know. We're going to try right now. Yeah. I'd say so, huh? I mean, I... I Touched the brake about a hair, and it seemed to slow us down just enough, but can't get around them. I don't think I have enough power to get around them on the outside, so I got to work the inside. Of course, Smith got the better run off here. We might be, you know, fighting for 30th position between these two trucks, but or all three of us. But you know what? That's just what we got to do sometimes. We can hold some more speed up top. See if I can bring it down and get a good run off here. Maybe get to the inside. Bethel, maybe. There we go. We'll get turned down on, but hopefully it won't matter. We run into Smith getting contacted by Bethel a bit. Wasn't totally the reason why, but it certainly didn't help. Ten laps into the race, and we're one spot out of our qualifying position. And now I'm starting to push it a little more in one and two because it looks like it works. Ooh, touch the wall there. Ten laps in, we have not terrible wear considering it's only a 35 lap run. We're right under 90% on the front right. Look like 80. What was that? 85 on the front rear. Oh, 82. All right, well, we'll see where we end up at the end of the stage, I suppose. Here we go. We've kind of figured out one and two a bit. At least we're not losing it now. Now I want to see if I can, I don't know, maybe start to pick up some spots around the track overall. Gain on Smith here and... Maybe we can start to push towards uh, Carpenter, too. I don't know. The 
Let's see what happens. Getting a really good run out of two now. Oh, maybe not. Maybe uh, not, huh? Maybe. Oh, Ooh, get it together here. Yeah, that wasn't great. Oh, did that actually suck pretty bad? Might be able to hold this at a fair speed not to lose too much from Bethel. Oh, I felt like I'm like, oh, yeah, what a great turn. And then all of a sudden at corner exit, we just shot up. That sucked. See if we can gain back up. Nope. That was not a good job by me. Bethel on our inside. Still there. And now Bethel not quite riding us, but a little bit. It's kind of interesting. There. She wasn't doing what we've seen in previous races where they ride so hard on us. But now she is. Careful. Still there. Now she doesn't want to give up any. Look at that. That's so funny. Well, luckily on this track, the apron is kind of part of the track, so. Let's just ride up on the inside. Just give it a go. Let's let's not stop. I mean, I'll push, but I'm not going to do what I was doing. Rutch already behind us to lap us. Oh, sorry, Rutch. I'll move out of your way. I think now our tires are a little, a little less happy than they were. Still think we can do some stuff, but. We should be up there with Smith, and except when I slap that wall, it really messes us up. Let's see if I can... Like, this feels really good. Are we going to slide up into the... Yep, at the exit. That's just weird. I don't know if part of that had to do with us touching Bethel and like, making us tight, but it felt weird. Oh, every opportunity low, with a partner low. to get around Bethel, and I screwed it up. Inside. And she ran the high line, so that gave us a better shot to get around her, and I still screwed it up. The race is half over. Well, that's just letting us know the stage is half over, and you know what we do at halfway to the stage. We're going to go ahead and speed things up, and we'll be back on the mic with you at the end of stage number one. Yeah, I got, I got tight again, ran it up high, hit the wall. That wasn't great. Hmm. Got tight, hit the wall, got loose, hit the other wall, Coming brought up the, the green, caution. Driver. Be ready here. Green flag, green flag. We have a trash truck right now, as you're well aware. Oh. Hey, what's up, Jeremiah? Getting back on the lead lap, I see. Starting off by pushing us down as hard as possible. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate you. Glad to see that uh, being around you doesn't negatively impact me at all. Crazy. Crazy. Stay low, stay low. Got one down low now. Oh, Eliza helping us to know when to turn in. That was nice. Thank you very much. We're on fresh stuff now. We might be a little bit faster than some trucks. It's the only way we're going to get a Outside. decent spot is if our pitting strategy or if we pit better. Still 
Perez working with us to keep our turns very Careful. smooth. Thank Go you ahead. very much, Perez. You're all clear up top. Car there on the inside. No, he's clear not. Low. Clear high, bud. We're battling here. I know I was going to be on a speed up, but things changed and we only got eight left. Maybe we'll have a bigger speed up later on when things aren't as exciting. There we go. Get on the outside of uh, Gary Norton. I'm sure nothing can go wrong with that. See? Perfect. Just making sure that we don't uh, drive too far down on the track. He kept us up on the high line. Good for him. In a nice run out of four. I don't know if we can get all the way up to 20th, but that'd be kind of cool. Got one peeking outside. No, we can get to 24th. Although if we get in front of no Rick somehow, we clear. would get the lap back. So we do have something to fight for here. And we should get very good runs off going through uh, three and four. So we might have a shot at doing this. Remember, they're not on nearly as good of equipment as us, so if we're able to get back on the lead lap, that would be kind of a reprieve from us getting screwed over by the automated uh, engine thing. Or automated crew getting them set up, automated, and screwing it all up. Pretty sure Egan's already on the lead lap. We go right up on Norik's bumper. That's gonna be exactly where we need to be. We've got five laps or four laps left to figure it out. And I think we'll be able to get as long as we stay close to him through one and two. I think we can get him on three and four. There we go. We stayed up with him that time. Matter of fact, we got a nice run coming out. See if we can get to his bumper before. Yeah, get right on his inside here. Still there. It's not going to get to us. We are one. We are the truck. The first truck a lap down, which is huge. Is that good? What? I thought we had like three laps left. Thank goodness we did what we did. All right. Well, looks like we'll be getting a lap back. We'll be able to uh, not get lower than 24th at this point. That might be the only way we can really get anything done in this race, to be honest, but I'm All not right sure. Now. Be smart out there. Going green. Be ready. Ready. 23rd place. Stage right. two underway. 35 laps in this stage as well. It was a 150 lap race, so I think we have 80 laps in the final stage. Still there. Get us through some of these trucks. That turn three and four is really big for us. It was even when we were, well, now we're equal equipment, equal tires as everyone else. So just kind of proof that it's really big for us. I didn't mess that turn up because I stayed high. I didn't actually lose any. As you can tell, we're getting that run off again. So, I mean, part of it was learning the truck, but also imagine if we had that 85 engine and you know, if we just had the equipment, this this race, Inside. the better truck, this race, but it didn't work out. That's fine. Got one peeking outside. Perez giving it one real quick hit for us. Let us know. That's cool. Um, hi. That's what he let us know. He said, hello. There we go. Perez ran that high line. We should clear him. It's not for a position. We got to get up to Jeremiah Graham to get to position. 
Oh, we're obviously running better than we were earlier, so that's good. Careful, still there. Got one peeking outside. Careful. Still He's all right. You got room. You're clear. He's fine. We lost the spot from Perez, but maybe Perez will be uh, staying in that high line and it'll give us some help. Oh, this isn't good. Wow, how did they get such a run? Well, probably they were in my draft. This doesn't matter. Our runoff of four is going to be better than what they could do. I don't know. All of a sudden, Chavez is really cruising. It's crazy. How is he getting such a good run all of a sudden? Holy crap. He is fast. Oh, really? This is the... You could have just gone... He could have literally okay. just gone flying past us and said he decides to take us and it slowed him way down. I hope that's good for you, friend. We're going to come out side by side, aren't we? Yep, sure are. Oh, I can just see his... There he is. Hi. So something interesting about the templates for the trucks, they're not as detailed, which is a weird thing for the developer to do. The templates on the trucks are actually like a, I'd say about a half of the size, um, physical size. So like the templates for the, or the trucks, the regular truck paint schemes are like 4096 by 2048. And I actually think that the templates for I didn't really look at the sizes, but I had to shrink it quite a bit when I was bringing stuff over after I made it on my bigger truck template. Um, so when I brought the paint job over to the actual template screen and shrunk it down so I could color it whatever way I wanted to and all of that, it ended up, uh, I want to say it was 1,024 by 2048, so half the size. It's crazy. Why would they want it? That just reduces the detail of the truck you're driving, and that makes no sense. Especially with DDS compression and things like that, you can, it's not a big difference in size. Whatever. That's just my experience with modding and the different uh, systems. So the expectation will be a number of these trucks that we're racing against right now, by the end of this, if there aren't any cautions, that we're going to end up seeing rutch pass us and maybe them if she passes them they'll go two laps down but if she passes us and not them we'll be a lap down with them and that's not great we technically are gaining on speedy jones right now he's running that high line up there oh no he got it back i was gonna say we went from two seconds down on him to 2.1 or from 2.1 to 2 but then it went right back up and now it's at 2.2 .2, so He's slowly driving away, and we just can't maintain with that speed. Not without having a, uh, not without having a better truck or having pits or a caution come out where nobody else pits, and we pit again, and then we have the better equipment to get us up there, and make some passes. Looks like Endfinger has taken the lead in the race over Rutch, who was dominant early. And every time I catch Chavez, he finds some weird amount of speed in that truck for me to not get the pass. Careful, still there. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy indeed. There we go. We got him that time. But we're 2.6 seconds down from Speedy Jones, so that sucks. And the reality is, is that we're not going to be able to pass anybody. And we didn't have much of a speed up in the last uh, stage. So let's run the rest of this stage. There's 25 left. We're going to run the rest of this stage as a speed up to kind of make up for what we didn't do in stage one. And we'll be back. Caution or Got one down low now. end of the stage.
Caution flies. Not sure what it was for. Let's see if it was up here back behind us. Oh, it must have been something behind us. It's like Parker Smith having problems. And Natalie Decker out of the race. Lance Norick on the lead lap with us. Now we pit. We should have some nice uh, stuff going on with our tires now for the rest of this stage. So we're going to go ahead and get right back up to the speed up. And uh, again, end of the end of the stage is when we'll be back. Must be a caution that comes out because it said five laps to go just a second ago, but we finished 20th in the stage. Ironically, that is what we need. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and pit. We're still in the lead lap. Hopefully we're able to do well with 80 laps remaining in the final moments of the race. I don't know who that is in front of us. Is that Mike Harmon may be smoking? Parker Smith with the free pass. We're back in 23rd. Of course, our goal is 20th. If we get that with this truck, I'd be really impressed. The lights are on here in Kentucky as the sun has gone down. And we are getting used up by Michael Chavez. Still there. They give you no breaks when they're angry with you. Never. The truck looks like I'm not being real smooth going around the corner. That's because I was getting pushed. Chavez actually hurt himself doing that as he fell back behind Norton. Norton is now behind us. First truck one lap down. As we uh, get up to the back of this pack in front of us here and start to try to push to get that 20th place. We will have at least one green flag stop through the last stage. 80 to go at the line there. We'll see how it all turns out for us. We get a run on the inside of Jeremiah Graham. That one might have been me. You know, every once in a while, I have to get my licks in too. Frustration and all that. All right, you're clear. Couldn't do everything I want to do there, and he wants to get on my inside, but I'm going to drive down in front and block him from it. Got one up top. 
You're all clear up top there. No Rick isn't one that tries to wreck us, so being around him isn't a bad thing. Inside. We ended up on the outside of uh, Graham, so that sucks. Careful. Still there. Keep it up, boss. Oh. Well, there goes Kenseth. Okay. I'll take it. Michael Chavez now on the lead lap as we drop back to 24th. We did pit. Why not? Number to the green. Be ready. Green flag. Got one peeking inside. Careful. Still there. Trying to get a nice runoff of uh, Kenseth right now. He did not pit, even though he spun his truck out hard. Interesting. A lot of damage on that front end from hitting us. Oh, well. You'll run the high line this time? Okay. Got one peeking out. I'd love to get a really, really strong run here, but it's not going to happen. I was hoping to get a strong run and get around the outside of Smith. We've got three poo. I'm still trying. Even with the truck not being up to par, I'm still going to push as hard as I can to get that 20th place finish. That would be huge for us. Oh, that was me, but whatever. It's not like he's... It's not like he likes us anyway. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. I'm like, really? How'd that even happen? Alright. I am somehow in No Rick's draft at times. That's interesting. And then here comes... God Perez on our inside. I just can't get the truck down like that. Still there. More or less about how we enter the corner. I don't know. Without a caution, I don't know if we're going to be able to do what we need to do. And I say the caution because we would pit and get fresh stuff. We're on the Still tail end of the lead lap currently. Got Stout and low, Norton low. behind us. Inside. You got room. You're clear there. Oh, we caught back up to Perez. Now, if I could just hold that through one and two, maybe make a pass, that'd be great. He's not for position, but he is preventing us to get from getting to where we need to go, which is Kenseth, Graham, and Norick. Can I get under him? No. Nope, we bumped him. I mean I can't I'm not I'll push him up in front of people I don't even care at this point I just want to get up to them and start seeing if I can make the passes Looking inside now. All right, Stout is clear. not for position but he's you know he's definitely pressuring us you got room you're clear Definitely pressuring us. Dang it. Not great. We're going to lose the stout. Please don't waste your time coming up and hitting us, man. It's not even for position. Stay high, stay high. Oh, he's obviously getting a great run because he's flying up on Perez now. It'd be kind of cool if they were, would make rivals with each other as well, not just us. It'd be really cool, actually. We've got a six second lead or six tenths of a second lead over Michael Chavez. Five tenths. He might catch us because our, as our stuff starts to wear. 
We'll see how that goes. I would like to be able to catch this pack in front of them. They're, they're not really seemingly driving away that much. Just I haven't had a really good turn one and two and three and four. <laughs> I haven't had good corners in this race. Oh, sometimes I do and I catch right up to them like I feel like I'll get it this time. And I'm right back in it with these trucks. As Kenseth and Jeremiah Graham are battling it out. Respectfully, one's at the very top of the track, one's at the bottom. So, you know, as I said, respectfully, unlike how they are with us, which is disrespectfully. Getting a nice run this time. Yeah, Stout was just a good truck. We get a nice run up here on Perez. Run down. Drive away from him, and now we're competing with some of these other trucks. I'd like to get in front of Perez to get some kind of a... No, he's not going to... Whatever. We had a bad drive off. I was focused too much on him. We lost every bit of everything that we had worked out there. That sucked. I can run the higher line right there and then drive it down and hope that we get a run doing that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's a different way to do it, though. You got Graham and Kenseth up there really running. And I think that because I'm driving it in as deep as I am, maybe I'm not getting as good of a runoff. I don't know, because now it looks like they're driving away at the exit. We'd be in 25th place right now if uh, Perez and Stout were on the lead lap. Because they're both in front of us. But they're not on the lead lap, so we're running in 23rd. I decided when I bumped into him to actually get on the gas at the last second, knowing it was going to slow us down, because every time we bump somebody, they get a great run, and then we lose everything. It didn't work. It didn't work, and Chavez is here now. And I'm driving on the apron like an absolute amateur. Are we looking at our tires? 80%, 20? Oh. Oops. Taking a look here. 64 laps left. We've gone 16, 15, 16 laps. All right, yeah. We can easily get through. We can easily get through our uh, fuel run on these tires. We'll be at probably 40% tire left on the right rear when we're done with this run. If it goes green the whole time. All we got to do is get to 40 to go. And well, I mean, we can do it beyond 40 to go, but I'd like to get 40 to go before we consider pitting. Starting to see uh, end fingers catching us. We're going to take the wall there because we got tight. And here comes Chavez. He's going to easily take that position. I didn't say I was just going to easily give it up once we got to the corner, but. He's got another runoff, so maybe running that higher line would work. I don't know. I haven't really messed with it, but they're really getting nice runs yeah, coming off the high down. line. Still there. I don't know. I think obviously I lost the uh, pack in front of us and we could be sitting a lap down with no opportunity to uh, to catch them if they don't get lapped as well before a caution were to come out. Zenfinger's got us. He's at the entrance of turn one and two as we're exiting. We've got about a half a backstretch on him right now. But pretty quick we're going to be dealing with that and 
Although it is ensuring things like we're going to be in front of Bradshaw and we won't get anything lower than 26th position. It also is going to potentially hinder us from any kind of strategy. So uh, 60 to go. I want to break this one up into two different segments. So we'll do 60 to 40 sped up and then we'll come back with 40 to go and uh, chat about 40 to 20 and then do 20 to probably five laps left sped up. Anyway, folks, it's time for another speed up. We'll be back on the mic with you. Caution or when we're at 40 laps to go. Not sure why the caution came out, but uh, it looked like someone was smoking. Yeah, someone's smoking. Who is this? Oh, Michael Chavez is smoking. Is that who that is? I think it is. I'm not positive. Can't see through the smoke, but I'm pretty sure it was Chavez. Well, he pit, but of course we pit and we came out in the same spot, which isn't bad. Unfortunately, it limited how far up we can go. We might still be able to get up to 20th place, though. I'm not positive. Everyone pit. Apparently, they're going to be able to make the rest of this run, which kind of sucks. Still there. Yeah, 50 laps in my tank, 51 to go. So, Still there. interesting. Hold your line, got one inside. Got a car coming inside now. Ooh. Yeah, no, no, didn't like that. I do like being on fresh equipment, though. Want to get in behind No Rick? Outside, outside. Also, didn't want to run into him because he's not an enemy. So there was that part on the inside of Carpenter. Push Perez up around Smith. Chavez has a problem and ends up coming out of the pits in front of us still. Amazing. I'm getting hit from behind. I can't do anything about it. All clear. Inside. All right, you're clear. Inside. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right, we're on a mid high. We're really tight from all the contact there. Gonna get back into the swing of things around that set of corners. Kind of sucks. I have an ultra wide screen, but I can't actually take advantage of it because it messes up the HUD. It puts the HUD at the edges of the screen Careful, instead of leaving them where, leave this stuff where it is. I'm going to have to see if there's a way that I can adjust where the HUD stuff goes because I'd like to be able to you know, look to my left and right and see what's next to me. Hold your line, got one outside. Hold that line, driver. That was dumb. Inside. Sometimes I just get too into what I'm doing and I don't pay attention. I looked over at a different screen. It's 
see if I can... All right, we got the spot clear from Parker Smith. Um, Lance Norick is quite a bit in front of us, though, so I don't feel confident about that. And everyone pit, so they're all on the same tires that we're on. We went another, you know, I don't know, 15 or 20 laps and caution came out. We'd pit again. Stay high, stay high. Put us in a much better spot. We might be vying for a 20th place finish at that point. Got one peeking inside. Clear low. I'm going to run it to 40 to go and then we're going to go to a speed up because we didn't get much of a speed up before. We make adjustments to the speed ups. He's ever so slightly pushing against us. That's kind of funny. Probably because he knows that if he did it hard, he was going to put himself in the wall. He was too far up in front of us to mess around. Hey, Smith, what do you say we actually work together so I can just get up to these other trucks with you, huh? You and I are trying to get up to 23rd place so that we can start to actually fight for some other positions. He's like, I don't need you. I'm gone. You say you don't need me. But little do you know, Careful, I'm right here. Yeah. How about it? Going to turn, you're going to turn your truck so hard into us? How was that? I mean, it's every opportunity given. Every opportunity. Look at <laughs> takes us again just to let us know. Hey, still here. All right. If I can get a good run and catch back up to Parker here. Car outside. I don't think so. We only get a, you know, we, we use it up pretty bad pushing the truck. Car high, careful. Trying to catch up and right out. I mean, overdriving the truck. Absolutely. Just trying to um, see outside. if I can get a push from Carpenter here. Outside. Just doing whatever I can. You know, Got a car coming inside oh, now, now he's going to cross us over or what? No. Clear all around there. Just doing whatever I can with the truck I have. And again, it's not even fully up to par, which sucks. But we appear to have caught Parker Smith again, Inside. even though Michael Chavez is now four seconds. Well, we just lost everyone because we got loose and take or got tight and take the wall. Amazing. Careful. Still there. I mean, I might be able to catch Parker Smith, but uh, you'll have to watch that on a speed up because we've got 40 to go. So we're going to speed up until a caution. Honestly, or until there's five laps left, not much else going on here. So uh, stay tuned. Enjoy the music, and uh, we'll be talking to you. I, I kind of hope there's a caution soon, because then we'd have some better stuff. What are we down to, 80? Yeah, I really hope there's a caution soon. Put me right in the running to get to the 20th place, which would be awesome, especially with the equipment we've had. Anyway... Like I said, stay tuned and you'll see what happens.
Yellow's out. Back her down. We were not the cause of that yellow, although we kind of wish we were, but... Who? We were not the cause of that yellow. Okay, well, we're pitting. Um, we can only pass Parker Smith. So that part sucks, but oh well. We were struggling hard. So we'll have a nice little sprint at the end here. Oh, I was wrong. We can pass. Well, yeah, we can pass Parker Smith. All right, be smart out I mean, there. We can pass a number of other trucks, but Ready. Parker Smith is the uh, max that we were at before. But I mean, if all these trucks are worn out like we were, which I think part of the our extensive wear had to do with um, the quality of the equipment we're driving today. Careful, still there. You gonna run up into me? Yeah. Oh no, that's uh, Harmon. That was Harmon trying to clip us on the back. I forgot he hates us too. Careful, still there. <laughs> I forget. I should just forget when trucks don't hate us because it's more likely that that's what the case is. Still there. Oi, what's up? Mm. Careful, still there. Battling Norton. Gotta also pay attention to what's going on in front of me. Still there. Rewind. That's what we want to be. Oh, Parker got Bradshaw in front of him. 23rd would be our best, I believe, position we could get in this race, which I'm okay with. Seven to go. Careful. Still there. All right. Clear outside. Smash us. All right. Yes, Clear you back. will. Inside, inside. can't maintain with us because we're on fresh equipment or fresh tires up. yeah he can maintain with us because i screwed that corner up so bad Looking inside now. get off of me all right 24th time to try to get the top position we can which would be 23rd let's see what we can do here oh all right, well, we're not pitting. That'd be dumb. I don't know. We probably have like three laps to go max right now. So hopefully uh, we're able to get around stout and get our way to a 23rd place finish. What we got going on here? Oh, hey, Smith. You got room. You're clear there. I was like. Why am I turning my steering wheel as hard to the right as I possibly can? Oh, because I'm so much trying to murder us. That's good. Stay low, stay low. Careful, still there. You're clear all around there. Perfect. Now you think I would just stop trying Careful. to pass trucks still now there. because I've got the farthest I can go. I like a buffer. Two more laps left to go. Careful, still there. On the inside of Chavez. And no Rick. Hopefully you'll be able to enter this corner at a nice pace. Yep. Alright. Okay. Perfect. Clear high, clear high. Perfect. Perfect. Kinda wish this happened before that we got lapped though. That would have been nice. A third truck did go a lap down or is on pit road. So I don't know if it's possible for us to get that lap or if there were so many laps in. We were three laps down and we've gone. So because it looked like it was a lead lap truck. I'm not sure who that was, but I thought it I thought it looked well, I guess we'll find out at the end of the race. And here we go, folks. 23rd place with what we had. I'm not too mad about it. 
Top five, Grant Enfinger wins the race. Austin Hill, Angela Rutsch, Stuart Friesen, and Matt Crafton. Custom drivers, Casey Kane finishes 15th and on the lead lap. Speedy Jones, 16th. Matt Kenseth, 17th. Max Cost, 18th. David Schildhouse, 20th. Lance Norick, 21st. Michael Chavez, 22nd. We came in 23rd. Bradshaw Stout, 24th. John Perez, 25th. Parker Smith, 26th. Taylor Carpenter, 27th. Eliza Bethel, 28th. Gary Norton, 29th. Jeremiah Graham finished 15 laps down. And Bryce Egan finished 101 laps down. And Natalie Decker finished 119 laps down. Angela Rutsch had the fastest lap of the race. Angela Rutsch led the most laps, even though she did not finish in first. Matt Crafton started 31st, finished 5th. Natalie Decker started 7th, finished last. Well, we didn't have any nasty grams in that race either, so we continue to do all right from that perspective. Race number 15 will be at Eldora. It's a dirt race. That should be very interesting. But, folks, that is going to do it for this episode. I do want to take a moment out to say thank you so very much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. And until next time, and of course, as always, you take care.